Hi, this is Porter Thorndike, and I'm going to take you through the creation of the Sales by Region dashboard located in the Retail Samples Documents folder. This example features our in-document analytics capabilities. This means that you can deliver a combination of charts, reports, filter controls, and these can all be combined into an HTML5 document that contains the data and interactive controls and allows you to interact with that document without maintaining a connection to a database without installing software or without being charged a user license. So in this case, we're looking at product performance by region. We're looking at the sales by product category, profitability by brand, the sales by month this year versus last year. We've got detail in the data grid, and this is globally coordinated by region. So this is performance for EMEA, but if we want to look at North America, we can change that dropdown. If we want to interact with the data, so if we want to look at which products had the highest gross profit percentage, notice there's a lot of options that I get on each column. So I can sort by the highest, or if I want to see what is the average percent change of all of my products, I can activate different calculations. If I wanted to annotate this, I could write comments right on the data grid itself. If I wanted to visualize this or activate some of these other tools like grid chart and pivot I could do that I could also export it okay and this is all working entirely portably it does not require that connection to the database to work I can also interact with the charts themselves so if I wanted to isolate a couple product categories I can do a marquee select and I can apply that filter on all of the other data that I have in front of me how would we build this example Okay, I'm going to start in document mode, and I'll select retail light as my source. And document mode supports a variety of different output formats. Okay, PDF, PowerPoint, Excel, and Active Report. Active Report is the in-document analytics format, and that's what I'm going to select. I'm also going to go to the Layout tab and make this a landscape document. Important to note, though, that anything that I build right here, if you wanted that nice multi-object, multi-page PDF document, PowerPoint document, you could select that as the output format for any of these. Where I'm going to get started is I'm going to insert those charts onto the page. Notice I could do multiple pages. I could insert interactive controls, and we will do that. So let's insert a chart object, and this is a pixel-perfect designer. I'm going to size this. And then I can really quickly do a right click and a duplicate. And I'm going to do that a second time and it makes that the exact same size. So that's nice. While I'm here, I'm going to insert the report object just a little bit below these chart objects. Okay, now let's start building. That first chart that we were looking at, sales by product category, is a donut chart. Let's go to the format tab and go to other. And we're going to select the pie grouping and the donut. And to create my donut chart, I'm just going to drag revenue onto that chart object and product category. And there's my revenue by product category. Next chart is a tree map. So let's select the tree map out of the other directory in the HTML5 grouping. And the tree map is great at communicating one or more measures in one or more dimensions using size and color and different grouping levels. To do this, I need a calculation of gross profit percentage. I don't have that, so let's create that calculation. I go to my data tab, I click on define, and I'm gonna call this margin. And I wanna to go to my format tab and make sure that I've got a percent sign. Okay, and I evaluate this condition, which is gross profit divided by revenue and multiplied by 100. Okay, and that calculation gets added to my field list right here. Before I add in that calculation, let's drag in the brand and brand type dimensions. All right, so if I want to just start with brand type and I want to look at the margin, I could drag this into size or color. Let's bring it into color and let's make sure that the average calculation is applied here. So, you know, that right there is communicating something to me, the average margin for each brand type. But let's break that out now by the actual brands inside each brand type. And that's what tree maps are great for. 
and so that we can actually see the actual brands inside specialty or major which ones are very profitable or not profitable okay but we can also use a second metric because this this is sizing all of these boxes the same even though they're different shapes so if we also wanted to see what is the revenue that each brand type and brand produces we can use size to do that okay <clears throat> our third chart is a line chart revenue this year versus last year to do this we need a couple more calculations let's go back to the data tab click on detail and this is going to be this year's sales and I'm going to evaluate my condition of if the year is equal to 2015 then aggregate the revenue for that year else do nothing and because last year is going to be the same with a different year I'm going to copy that Okay, so you notice that this year calculation showing up in my field list. Let's do last year's calcul uh, calculation, and that's going to be 2014. And <clears throat> now to do this, we want to just find our month field. And we're going to drag in this year. And we're going to drag in last year, and let's change this to a line. Do that by going to the Format tab and clicking on Line. There we go. We have our three visualizations as quick as that. How do I create this data grid? Well, the data grid combined things like what models are we selling? What product category do they belong to? What was this year's sales? What was last year's sales? There were a couple other calculations in there that we are going to need to create. To do that, we go to the Data tab. I'm going to click on summary the first one was the variance created by this year minus last year okay and that is simply this year minus last year and that will be added to our data grid the next was the percent change and by the way this demo is giving you the what's what the who's who what i think are some of the best calculations you could use things like sales this year last year variance percent change, gross profit margin, these are great calculations to use. So let's create another calculation. This is going to be percent change. I'm going to make sure that this has got my percent sign in there. And percent change is simply the variance divided by this year's sales multiplied by 100. Okay, we have percent change. Let's make sure we drag in product margin as well. This is really telling us a lot about these different products. Let's make sure we're looking at the average profit margin as well. There were a couple other things on this document that you might notice are missing. We have visual data visualization bars on these last two key metrics. So if you select that metric, notice on the ribbon we can do some things. We could activate a drill down, a traffic light. We can also activate the data visualization bar. I'm going to do that as well for the P change field and if I were just to run this document what this would be would be a really nice one page document on my entire business and the product sales and the detail what it's missing though is that global filtering by region so if I want to globally filter by region or anything else I make use of this coordinated bucket right here okay, and I'll drag that in and we're gonna get a global filter by region now so this provides some nice functionality some nice interactivity it's going to break out these different views by region so we see what it is for EMEA and we see what it is for North America okay but the other thing to be aware of this coordinated feature this global filtering feature this is the technical capability that allows us to build these multi-page statements whether it be PDF or in document analytics and burst them out to hundreds, thousands of different people efficiently because we design the content in document mode, whether it be one or multiple pages, whatever's on that page. And then we coordinate it by an investor ID, a customer, a region. We pair that with an address book matching up that investor ID with an email address in one schedule. And we've got one document, one address book, one schedule and these can be burst out to thousands of different people very efficiently. 
This has been creating the Sales by Region dashboard.